We've already changed out their water this morning and they're all getting into it. But I know that I kind of did a coop update and y'all got to see the, the expansion and just how much we added. But I kind of want to just show you how much these babies are changing now. Um, you go back in my videos and you'll kind of see them grow from like every week for the first month and then how they are at two months and you kind of just get to watch them grow over the over time and now they're just entering laying age and we've been really blessed with our Welsh Harlequins they've started laying as early as five months which is really exciting these hens the drake is starting to breed now and he's the same age as they are we got them all at the same time so you kind of just get to see them grow and you can really if I zoom in on him you can really see the difference between his colors now um, and how green and vibrant his head is compared to what Cotton's was. Because remember, Cotton has the really poor mallard stripe on the back of his head. And so whenever he would get his plumage in for mating season, it was just really mottled and muddy and it just wasn't good. And plus he was extremely large compared to our hens. Where this guy is closer to the hen size. He's still larger, but he's closer. He's a better size. He has a better temperament. He has a beautiful um, head color. And he's just overall a really sweet, sweet male. And here are our hens. You can see their feet are finally getting black. I was really worried because their feet were kind of orange for a while. But they're actually darkening up now. Um, I would like in the future to kind of get the genetics where they darken faster but i mean these are beautiful girls ignore that guy in the back uh he is not going to be here much longer he's one of our coals he was an accidental breeding we got him given to us he's one of the welsh harlequin crosses um but look at these i mean they are beautiful and you can see the hens coming in now, these girls are what is referred to as a silver Welsh Harlequin. They have the blue in their feathers and can't really tell because of the way she holds her wings. And they're lighter in color. So they're not that deep golden color and they don't have the brown on their wings. So I'm still learning myself, but I'm in love with these, these hens. They're so good for our flocks. They are trying to hatch eggs they take care of their nest they'll sit down on eggs for us and everything else so they're really great um now as far as bill color goes they were already a couple of days old when i got them so i didn't really have a chance to see how their bills looked and sex them that way i guess that a couple were females and at least one was a male so i was right about that but there were two that i just couldn't tell um, but really after 48 hours, it's, it's a no-go on sexing them by Bill anymore. Oh, so here you can see they're getting excited because I'm over here and I've refilled their water. So they like to fight over their little pond. The plan is to move out the big pond over here, which is 3,000 gallons and build up a really pretty, like right here in the middle, put a really beautiful um, ramp and flowers around it that are duck resistant can see this little girl's hunting flies so that's a really cool thing they're good hunters and when we first moved them you see them just running around grabbing the insects grasshoppers hunting flies they're amazing so there's one two three and you see the hens all have a various shading uh this poor girl's a little rough because she's the favorite I know what's so special about her, but she gets more attention from, from our Drake. This is another Welsh Harlequin cross. I'm not sure what's going on with it. I've been thinking the whole time it, it was a Muscovy, um, also called Muscovy by some. Um, it was another free duck. Basically, we bought Welsh Harlequins, and there were three that they knew that hatched from a Welsh Harlequin female, but they had crossed with something, and so they just let us have them. You know. 
I'm so in love with them. I don't know 100% that our Drake has like perfectly correct color or formation. I know that I love him and I really enjoy his coloring, but I'm going to be honest and say that I'm still learning. I've made mistakes in the past. Like at one point I thought that these girls when they were younger um, were a gold phase. I was wrong. They ended up showing the blue on their wings and I was like, well, psh, you know, we all learn. <laughs> Other people can learn from my mistakes too. These just, I mean, I love them. As far as the backyard flock goes, they're wonderful ducks. It's a little duck mating dance. <laughs> Hi, guys. she's she's eating the leaf that just fell from the tree look at her so funny there it is you can kind of see the blue now isn't isn't she just gorgeous now there i mean i'm not standing too far from them i do have it zoomed in but they're friendly, but they're not like, come pick me up. If I start walking towards them, she's going to freak out and run off. She's moving faster than I can move with my, my phone. So there's a little update. You can kind of see just how far they've grown now that they're um, mating age. And they are laying eggs. Um... I have currently, there's a nest in the coop with 15 eggs. The, during the summer, it's too hot for me to let them hatch out eggs themselves. But yesterday, the high was 88, which is still really warm for October. Um, but we're in southeast Texas, so it's going to be warm. And the cool thing is that it's cool enough, in, especially in the duck coop, they kind of dug out a nest in, in the dirt that they can... Um, hatch out their own eggs so I'm just gonna let them try and if I have to I can put mommy and her babies whichever one decides to hatch them out in their own space to keep them safe real quick before I go I just kind of wanted to show off their nest look at that look at all those eggs isn't that amazing these girls lay so much. I mean, it's easy for me just from my two, two of my birds to get two eggs five days out of the week. And so with all of my girls laying, I'm, I'm just blown away. This is incredible. So you can see how they dug down in the dirt to make this, lined it with little feathers. They take good care. Some of them are dirty, but I mean, yeah. Hatch what we can. So I hope that kind of helps you out and you enjoy kind of getting an update on the ducks. They're really fun creatures to have around. They are messy, but I mean, I really love and enjoy them. And so you kind of see what's going on.